Hello everybody, my name is Riley Saunders and I've been saying for years that Winnipeg, Manitoba is the music capital of Canada. This little known freezing cold city is home to some of the most amazing artists and they have nothing better to do than sit around, play music and write songs. The Spare Room is a show I created to shine a light on some of these artists. It's about more than just the music. It's about gaining a glimpse into the minds and personalities of the human beings behind the songs. From my spare room to the comfort of your home, I'm super stoked to present to you J.D. Edwards. Day after day after day after day after day. What I love about music is I love the way I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way that it seems to come from somewhere else and seems to move through me. I love how a good bass line can, can make me like move my head or, or move my back, you know. And I love how a great lyric can, um, you know, tingle the senses and, 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 and raise the hair on my arm or my back or something or make me feel something that I've never felt before or something that I have felt before and, and, and love that feeling. I love how music can enhance those feelings and, and somehow um, reach into the past maybe and pull out those, those feelings and those memories that I've had when a, a certain, maybe a song um, conjures up those, those thoughts, those ideas, you know, if it's an old love song or if it's a song about old friends or something. Um, Music's good. <laughs> My name is J.D. Edwards, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Uh, I was born in southern Ontario, but I live here in southern Manitoba, in Winnipeg, and I have been for many years. Um, uh, I sing with the Small Glories. I'm one half of the Small Glories, which is a, a, an international touring group. And uh, here in Winnipeg, I, I have my own band, the J.D. Edwards Band, and um, I can play a lot of music, and that's what I do. This song is a song called My Sky. Uh, this is a song that I co-wrote with a friend of mine from Boston, Massachusetts. His name is Glenn Bowie. He's a, a wonderful poet from there. And um, many years ago when we met, he gave me a, a book of poems and I found these lyrics in his book and I've put some music to it. So Glenn, if you're out there, this one's for you, pal. Um, here's My Sky. My sky stagnant with forgotten stars They all weep with jealousy For a sun that revolves around you Hanging in my heart of sign Forgotten like the stars That bleeds the words I still love you Someone else's sky, someone else's tears The sun will shine on tomorrow fall apart The sun and the moon they share the stage But you always outshine them all They can't compete with a heart that shines so bright You pick the stars that want to fall Someone else's whispers Someone else's sky So far above my world I can't turn to see Still shine upon my world. Someone else's promise, someone else's destiny. The star. 
are set in place like jewels. They all begin to fall so slow, so deliberately. The sky begins to fall in a million pieces. It's my sky. The only thing left that belongs to me. Some of my earliest memories of music, um, I remember singing in choir in grade two. Mrs. Allard was our teacher and she really got me into music, into singing, really, really taught us about how much fun music is to sing and to be a part of and to do it with others. Um, I, I grew up going to church. Uh, my mom played piano and the organ and she, conducted the choirs and led the choirs. My dad would often get up and, and, and lead the congregation in hymn singing. Um, we would do family um, songs at church, and sometimes I was into it, and sometimes I hated it when I was a little kid. But I remember, because I was a little kid and I had a high voice, I, I still have a high voice, but if you could imagine me as a kid, I had a higher voice. Anyway, I, I remember because I had the high parts, I would have to put my head back and ah, I try to sing higher. <laughs> I don't know. Um, music, you know, I remember, I remember list when I would be drifting off to sleep. My father was a, a, a math teacher. And um, when my, I was the youngest of three. And when my brother and sister moved out of the house, I was still young, I was still in, in grade school and uh, or early high school. And I remember he would be in his office and he would be marking tests or papers for his, his classes, but he'd always have classical music on and it was just it was just so quiet, but enough I could hear it. I remember falling in love with, with classical music and, and music uh, as a kid then. Um, music has always been in our family, whether it's been at church, whether it's been on the radio, um, you know, or whether all of the, all the influences that I got from my brother and sister, they're much older than me, six and 10 years older than me, and they all had the the latest things, you know. What's my purpose in life? Well, you know, these days I'm a father, so I gotta be a dad. I've got three kids, and my purpose is to help raise them and, and to bring them into this world and do right by them. Um, my purpose is to, you know, be good to my wife. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think, I think what I do, I think I think music and sharing music and singing, um, I think it's an important part in our society. I think it's an important part for our mental health. I think it's good for me to share and to sing. It's good for me. I know it's good for you out there because you all come to concerts and stuff like that. You seem to be having a good time. And, and, and I get a lot of um, comments about how... Uh, the music was good. It was good medicine. It was good for the soul. Thank you. You know, I love many comments like that. So, you know, I, I think uh, I think my purpose is to is to help, you know, be a pusher of music, I guess, or, you know, bring some joy to people. Um, I feel like I have a talent and, and I should be sharing it. And I think that's my purpose. This next song that I'm going to sing is a song called Private Love. Uh, this is a song written by uh, our good friend Dan Jordan from Red Moon Road. And um, I, I, there was a couple of months, oh, geez, I guess a while ago, I'll say, there was a concert here in Winnipeg, uh, the Jukebox concert, and, and, our, and our friend Joey Sentif, um put on this concert, and she asked two bands to join the concert, and they were to play each other's music. And... Um, Anyway, we, the J.D. Edwards band got asked to do it with Red Moon Road. Um, the concert never happened. It was a, there was some complications. But anyway, one of the songs that I started learning was this song called Private Love. And uh, I was going to do it with the band, and we still might do it. Um, but I thought I would play it um, 
for you guys tonight. You were just watching The Spare Room with this man, J.D. Edwards, and I was so unbelievably pumped to have you here. Thank you so much. You debuted a new song here. Yeah, first time. And uh, and then covered a Red Moon Road song that sounds nothing like Red Moon Road, and they're going to absolutely love that. Say something to the people at home. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good life, and uh, we'll see you soon. And make sure to check out the Small Glories and J.D. Edwards Band all around Winnipeg, all around the world. Yes. If anyone who sees JD live is mind blown, and I mean, you just watched this video and you saw the proof of that. <laughs> Great job, man. Thanks so much for everything, brother. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Day after day after day after day after 